All right, so Aries, we're going to have a look at what's going to come up for you. And now keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single Aries. If you'd like a personal reading, that'll be in the description down below. And um, we also have a website where things are 50% off as of right now until the end of the month. So you should definitely check that out. And if you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so. So Aries, you know, I'm seeing the color purple for you. All right. There's some significance with that color there. We have page of Wands wanting to come out. So we have communication coming in. Okay. Oh my goodness, Aries, what are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? There's communication coming in. What if... <laughs> oh my goodness. What I feel for you, it feels like, you know, there's that communication you've been wanting. Okay, but you're starting something here that's going to add, like, this this uh, ripple effect of that communication coming in, Aries. All right. Mm. Splitting the deck, we have the two of wands, the three of wands here. Okay. What you doing here? Yeah, there's that communication you've been wanting. So we already have a three of wands, right? We have the star. That is Aquarius. We have the queen of pentacles. That is Earth. Okay, we have the eight of wands. Aries, I see you moving up in life. Okay, I see success, I see all that sort of stuff. We have the seven of pentacles. Six of Pentacles with Justice. Justice is Libra. And the Four of Pentacles is the Hangman. The Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. So you are being... You're being pushed towards a certain person, Aries. Okay? Towards someone that you really haven't been with. All right, maybe you already know this person, but it's, you haven't never really been in a relationship with this person. Okay, it can be a Libra or some Libra placements. That's not the main part here. We also have Aquarius and Earth. But, Aries, you're being, like, pushed. Okay? That's what's going to... I see. <laughs> you know what I feel for you? All right, you've been wishing for communication with a certain person, all right? And then you start pursuing this newer person, okay? And when you get all involved with this newer person, that's when the past person comes back. See, that's why I said you're starting this ripple effect, Aries. Okay. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands, okay? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, the Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups. Aries, you have your Ten of Cups coming in. You have your overall life improving here. You have yourself here living as an Empress or an Emperor here. Alright, I see you really just going for things that you want in your life, okay? You know, there's no stopping you here. You're just going for it, alright? You're Aries. You don't stop at nothing, do you? We have the Nine of Cups. This is what I pulled from the top of the deck. We were reading from the bottom of the deck, now we're reading from the top. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups here. We have the King of Pentacles, which is Earth. I see the money coming in that you want here as well. We have the Eight of Pentacles, because you've been working for it. We have this card, which is similar to the Death card. So we can count it as a Death card, which is Scorpio here. Alright, we have the Queen of Cups, which is Water. We have the King of Swords which is air. 
got the king of wands and that is your own card whether male or female does not matter we have the seven of swords okay we have the queen of swords king and queen of swords here three of pentacles the devil which is capricorn the page of wands the hierophants which is Taurus. We have the Eight of Cups. Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Two of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Four of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles with the Lovers. Lovers is Gemini. You notice how many kings and queens are here? All right, Aries. So yeah. Hmm. Number one, lead the good thing. Like I do see your overall life improving. Like I said before, Aries, I see you walking away from struggles. You're not really having to struggle with money or anything in your life. All right, you're getting to that point, right? Um. Investments paying off. Also, see, like, like I said, what I see with your love life, I do see someone newer, you know, some new relationship happening. And if you're already, you know, in a relationship, then just count that out of the reading, I guess. Um, but I see someone newer. All right, a new love, new relationship, and then, like I said, you have past coming back, and I also see a bunch of other people here as well. Okay. I see that there were some betrayals there in the past, Aries, and that's maybe that's why you like. See, this is such a weird reading. What I feel for you, I feel like your past person here. There was some sort of betrayal, something said, something done. All right, there is something not right. All right, that's why you both turn into the King and Queen of Swords towards each other. All right, kind of detached. Alright, maybe at one point you're wishing to communicate, but then it's like you moved on, you just like, you just went for, for something else, someone newer, and then now you have this person deciding to come back. When you've already moved on. Now, what you choose to do with that at that point is up to you, okay? Grab these cards. See, we have the tower. They come back unexpectedly like, hey, that's my Aries. <laughs> now, the tower is Scorpio. All right, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, you know, that's like money for yourself here, right? I see unexpected money, which is good, and I see this person. I see this person being a bit jealous, a bit bitter, if I'm honest, because I see you with something else. I see you with someone else, you know. I just want to feel, I feel like a bitter energy when they find this out here. We have the Knight of Wands, okay? Yeah, you have them rushing back in here, but let's look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, that's big money increasage for you here, Aries. All right, we have the King of Pentacles once again. You're going to be that King or Queen of Pentacles, Aries, okay? We have the Five of Cups. King of Wands, once again, your own card. Oh, Queen of Wands, I'm sorry. They look the same on here. We have the Devil. Once again, High Priestess. I think you're aware of this. Is that's the funny? That's the funny part here, Aries. You're aware of this whole situation here. You're aware of this person missing you now. All right, still having that attachment, still having that tie. We have the Page of Pentacles. Once again, okay. You have the Eight of Cups. You're out. All right. You're moving forward. You're you're moving on here. We have Judgment, but you see this person returns. All right, and two of swords. At that point, it's your choice what you choose, who you choose, you know, if you choose anyone. Okay, we have six of wands, but there is success coming here. Either way, Aries doesn't matter. We have temperance, which is Sagittarius. All right, so maybe you have some of those placements, or, or this is a person coming towards you. We have the Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, 
Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, which is water, the Hermit, which is Virgo. Okay, so yeah, you have this person here tired of the the break between you and them. All right, and I, I see them being so mad when they find out what you're doing. <laughs> oh, we have the Four of Cups here. Okay, it feels like you lost interest in this past person. We have the Ten of Cups. You're, you know, higher fin. It could lead to, let me tell you something. This past person could lead to marriage. It could lead to something long term if you choose it. So this is all your free will here at this point here. Okay, we have the, what is this? We have the Seven of Wands. The Fool. Justice. Oh my god. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. The Emperor, which is your own card here, Aries. So yeah, you have... You have this person trying to push for a relationship for you now. And this is all karma. Okay. So... <laughs> we have the two of cups, but it could lead to love. It could see, see it's your free will, Aries. There's nothing really forced upon you. And you have spirit, like you have the universe at play here. You have the universe bringing you in this new person. You have the universe bringing in this past person. Okay. Whichever one you choose, that's up to you. Do I feel like you can move on from the issues you have with the past person? Yes, I do. All right, we have what is this? The eight of pentacles. Feels like majority of you are focused on your work, your career, as of right now, your business, which that's going to be doing well for you. With the Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like your main focus here is money. You have the Chariot. I also see you traveling. Chariot is also Cancer, and then we have the Ace of Cups. See, there's that new beginning. There's that new love there. All right. So let's move on to a different tarot deck here. See, you have this, I hate to keep mentioning it, maybe some of you are getting irritated with me, but it's not my fault what comes out here. Alright, you see me live shuffling here, okay? You have this person all in despair over you, they feel like they lost you, they miss you currently. Alright, they're coming back around, and then, you know, when they find that out, it's like a bit of hurt, it's a bit of sadness, it's anger, it's bitterness, it's jealousy, it's all that. And I also see success coming in your life here, Aries. We have the Six of Wands, Five of Cups, Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles. See, they may be looking at like old photos of you, or you know, old like memories, you know, reminiscing here, you know, they're all blushing over there. We have the Hermit creeping on you here. Knight of Swords. There's a lot of worry with this person. Ace of Swords. The Sun. They're realizing that you, you make them happy here. The Sun is Leo. We have the Three of Pentacles. All right, but I see, you, you know, your your business is growing here, or your career. If you're thinking about doing a business, do a business here. We have the Nine of Cups, Aries. Basically, everything that you've been wishing for is coming into your life. All right, Nine of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Wait, is that the... Yeah, that's the Seven of Pentacles. See, what you invested in is paying off here. We have the Knight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. I do see money increasing for you here. We have the Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, the Moon. The Moon being Cancer. You see, I see... This is all taking place with this Moon here, under the, you know, influence of the Moon. We have Aries Full Moon, which just happened. Okay. Uh, my goodness, Aries. It's going to be a bit overwhelming with this person. You're going to notice this person trying to manifest you. You're going to be noticing this person being like, you know, take, like, do you know, just really pushing for a relationship for you now. Just really, like, all in your face when you've got something else going on.
You have the Ace of Cups, so you're, you're on to like newer. The Tower. Once again. We have the Six of Cups. So you have the Tower. You have, see, I told you, you're having, you're having this past person come back when you're moving on to new things. We have Judgment. Like I said. Page of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups while you're walking away here. Queen of Pentacles, once again. We have the Five of Wands. See, I just see them being really frustrated here. See them like, <laughs> see them like trying to fight the person that you're with. You know, just being like very frustrated. We have the Four of Swords. High Priestess, I think you're aware of it. It tells me that you're very aware of this and what's about to happen. We have the Nine of Wands here. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. Three of Wands with the Hangman. This person's like... I don't know. They're just really freaking out. Put it that way. Eight of Wands. Communication's coming in soon. Like I said, the Tower. We have the Six of Swords, Tower. See how much time Scorpios come out, okay? So that might be going into Scorpio season, maybe when you see this happening. Okay, but we have the Six of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles, once again. Lovers. See, it feels, it feels like you've lost interest in this person, and you're moving... Like I've been repeating throughout the entire reading. Alright, it's alright that it's been coming up, but you're moving on to, like, someone newer... Somewhere different, okay? You also got money coming in. So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.